Martin Keimer has been one of the standout performers of 2014 so far, following wire-to-wire -wire wins at the Players' Championship and the US Open. The 29-year-old attributed his return to form in part to his relationship with caddy Craig Connolly, with whom he's won two major championships and two Ryder Cups. The pair split for a short spell as Craig returned to Paul Casey's bag, but was soon reunited as Keimer admitted the Scotsman proved impossible to replace. Martin and I started working together um, the BMW Championship 2010. Uh, I was out of work and uh, Martin called me up and asked me obviously would I work for him so I didn't have to think too long so obviously the answer was yes. Worked with Martin for almost a year then I went back with Paul and then I went back with Martin Akron 2012 and we've been together ever since. Like any relationship, you know, um, you try to make a good impression first and foremost, ease your way into the job, and then, you know, if, and then you, you, you can gauge it as to how it's going to work out, you know, if, if you can be yourself, which you always should be, but sometimes, you know, you, 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 have, to, you have to mind your P's and Q's and, you know, not step out of turn. Didn't really do, need to do too much with Martin, you know, he just wanted the basics. Um, and then, obviously, as you, as you, your relationship progresses, you get to know each other. Um, and now, we're, you know, we're, we're good friends. But first and foremost, he's a boss, so I must do as I'm told. The dynamic between certain players and caddies is an intriguing and often unique one. Some players need complete guidance on every shot, whereas others prefer simple information before working out the challenge for themselves. Craig's experience has helped him find the right balance with Martin and his style. Martin's a very um, aggressive player, you know, likes to be brave, whereas I can sometimes be a little bit more conservative and uh, I would tend to be more of an influence over him as to you know as to when when to go for a shot and not to go for a shot. I'd be more I'd be more you know away from the pin and just play for the the conservative part of the green, which in a lot of ways would be against his natural feel. I'd probably say the past six months, kind of Martin's gone with how he feels and uh, wants to take those shots on, you know. So because sometimes you can be a little bit too defensive and that can lead to that can lead to bigger mistakes rather than being positive and aggressive, like he, likes, like he is and wants to be. Get his games in great shape and, you know, you just I'd let him go. And, you know, obviously there's, there's, a, there's a time where um, every golfer, not just Martin, but every golfer has to be pulled back and just, you know, just settle down and wait for that opportunity. But when players are, are confident and players are, their games are at the top, then you, you, you let them go because you only see one thing and that's the target and let them go for it. Martin's meticulous nature over the ball is clear to see every time he tees it up. But what exactly does Craig say to him before each shot? I would ask him, does he have his shot? Um, picture his shot, you know, focus on his target. And then sometimes, you know, if you feel that things are maybe getting a little bit away from us, then, you know, just slow and smooth, you know, take your time, full turn. Just the things that he he works on on the range, you know, with making sure he takes it slow on the way back, which enables him to turn. Um, because when he doesn't turn, he tends to lose the ball left. So it's important for him to keep that takeaway nice and smooth. So, you know, things like that. When things are going well, those phrases tend to work. But when things aren't going well, you know, it's just something else that it's just, I, I, you could see anything, you know. The sky's black today, the sky's green today and they just get into the shot and not even think about it because he hears it so often. So sometimes it's, it's good to change it up. Um, and if I tell you, it'd be a trade secret, so... Yeah, I can't tell you. Whisper sweet nothing's into his ear. You're always famous caddy saying you're one wrong club away from being fired, so you can never rest in your laurels and you can, you know, you can never be too confident. Um, obviously, the, you have to be confident in your own ability. And I think when you, you're on the verge of missing a cut or you know that you're going to miss the cut, I think that's the hardest, point, you know, the hardest point because you, you feel that no matter what you do or what he's doing or what the two of you are trying to do, you're not really making any headway. 
So those times are probably the most difficult. Martin's decision to drop Craig as his caddy back at the end of 2010 could have caused a long-term rift, but the lack of egos and the pair's friendship on and off the course meant it was a mere blip. The German said he simply needed a change back then, but it is hard to imagine him working with anyone else now, especially with the 29-year-old now back at the peak of his powers and once again a regular contender week in, week out. So what's the secret behind the success? I think it's the, 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 the trust that we have in each other. Um, and I think we do have fun. You know, it's you're out there for, for five hours and it can get monotonous. So if, you, if you're constantly talking about golf, it can get rather tedious. So just to, to lighten up a little bit um, and not to be so serious walking from in between shots. Obviously when you get to the ball, when you're approaching the ball, then it is time to get serious, but you know, just from time to time, just a laugh and a joke. Not all the time, but yeah, from time to time it's good to, it's good to laugh.